ever wished you can use different models for image creation like very close to stable diffusion ones in one platform worry no more because now we have civit ai for you so yes civit ai basically lets you use tons of different models for image creation that you see in stable diffusion as well so in this video are we gonna go ahead and test out human portraits landscapes anime characters cartoon characters by using different models of Civit AI and see how much this AI image generator is capable, right? So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. All right, guys, so here we are in our Civit AI. So first of all, let's just go ahead and talk about the settings of Civit AI. So first of all, over here on this bar, we have the option of model. So if you can go ahead and look into that. So this AI tool basically provides you similar kind of models that we see in stable diffusion. So now, Whatever model you like, let's just say you want to go ahead and check out this real dream. So you can simply select that and create images from this model online in Civit AI. So yeah, this basically provides you the results very similar to stable diffusion, which is absolutely crazy. Okay. All right, then uh, we have the option of prompt and negative prompt. So for the prompt, it's really important, first of all, to understand what will be the prompt formula for Civit AI. So yeah, I'll break it down for you guys. So the prompt formula is very similar to stable diffusion, like what we used to write in stable diffusion, which is first of all, you need to provide subject, then perspective, then equipment, then image quality, and then details, all right? Which basically can result in some kind of this prompt, which is a cheerful child playing in a park, which is our subject. Then we have photo taken at eye level, which can be our perspective. Then equipment is DSLR, Canon ESR5. Then image quality contains ultra quality, sharp focus, tag sharp, and all those important details. And the details are gonna be high detail, background, playground, right? So these five things add up to our prompt, right? So with that, you can create like amazing looking prompts in Civit AI, okay? And then comes our negative prompts. So negative prompts is basically what you don't want in your images. So let's just say if you don't want some blurry face or some deformation, so you can simply write in your images. So if you guys are wondering like what will be the perfect negative prompt that you want to input for all of your use cases, like it can be used for human portraits, realistic images, landscapes, animes, everything. So for that, this is basically the universal negative prompt that you can use for literally any of the categories, okay? So this contains poor rendered face, poor drawn face, poor facial details, and all those important ones, okay? Then we also have the option of mature content. So yeah, if you don't want to see uh, the mature content in your images, so it's, you can simply turn it off. So yeah, these are basically a few of the important things in your Civit AI. So yeah, first of all, if you go ahead and just generate this prompt, without using our parameters that we'll be using in a moment. So yeah, uh, for that, I'm gonna go ahead and select the model because we're talking about portrait, human portraits right over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and test this Jib Mix Realistic Excel model. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on generate. All right, so with just uh, within a minute, it will create you these images, which are absolutely perfect, right? So yeah, uh, Civit AI basically create images for you like very close to stable diffusion, like what we used to see uh, in stable diffusion. Yeah, so this is absolutely crazy. Like now you can go ahead and use online web version that is Civit AI to create stable diffusion looking images, okay? All right, next. So if you talk about uh, some of the parameters, so we have the option of aspect ratio. So if you want, you can choose between square, landscape or portrait. Then we have the option of advanced. So you can simply go ahead and click on this arrow and this will open a few more options. Very similar to stable diffusion here. So first of all, we have the CFG, okay? Then you have the sampler. So obviously uh, we need to go ahead and choose this DPM plus plus 2M carrier sampler because it will work the best in Civit AI. Then we have the option of steps, then seed, okay? So yeah, now let's just go ahead and test out these parameters and see how it affects our prompt, okay? So for that, I'm going to go ahead and type in this prompt and test out different variations with different parameters. So I'm going to go ahead and type a focus athlete during a game, photo taken at eye level, DSLR, Canon, EOS, R5, ultra quality, and all those important details. Okay, so first of all, now I'm going to go ahead and select creative CFG, which will be for 4.0 value. And for the steps, I'm going to go ahead and first select fast. Okay, so yes, CFG value 4 and steps 14 or fast. 
and I'm going to go ahead and generate this and see how our images would look with CFG4 and Steps 14, okay? And similarly, I'm going to go ahead and do the same for my balance CFG and balance steps, which will be 7.0 for CFG scale and 30 for uh, the steps, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and generate this. And once again, I'm going to do it for the precise, which will increase the value to 10 for our CFG and high for our steps, which will increase that to 46, okay? And then I'm going to click on generate and compare all of these images with different parameters, all right? All right, so take a look at the results. So first of all, uh, on the very left, we have the image of CFG value 4 and steps 14. And next, uh, we have the second image as CFG value 7 and steps 30. And the last image, we have the CFG value as 10 and steps 46. So as you guys can see uh, from the results, like the more uh, we increase the CFG value in human portraits, the portrait is not going to look that much realistic, right? But uh, similarly, if we go ahead and do the balance CFG, as you can see, we have uh, the 7 CFG in the second image. So this looks really, really good. Take a look at these images. Wow, these are absolutely perfect, right? Okay, so then we have a few of the more parameters such as C. So you can go ahead and choose between random and custom Cs. And then we have VAE. So from here, you can go ahead and select your models right away. And then we have the quantity. So this will basically go ahead and let you select the quantity. So you want four, three, two, one image. So you can go ahead and adjust that very easily. All right. All right. So now let's just go ahead and test all these models according to their specific purpose. Like this model, this is for a uh, human portrait, which is real dream. Similarly goes for this one as well. And then we have Dream Shaver XL. Then we have also some uh, cartoon creation models as well. Similarly, we also have the models for animes, as you guys can see right over here. So I'm going to go ahead and test uh, like pretty much all these models to see like which one performs the best. Okay. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and talk about human portraits. All right. So for that, I'm going to go ahead and test four to five different models and see which one performs the best. Okay. So for that, I went ahead and took uh, this prompt right away, which is a thoughtful artist in his studio photo taken at eye level DSLR Canon EOS R5 ultra quality. And I went ahead and chose almost eight different models for that. So first of all, the image is of Alboro Base XL version 2.0. So yeah, next one we have is Zavi Chroma XL. And the third one we have is Babes, Babes 3.0. The fourth one we have is Dream Shaper XL, which looks absolutely fantastic. And fifth one we have is Juggernaut XL. The sixth one is Magic Mix a Sobmer. And the seventh one is DynaVision XL. And the last one is Real Vision, right? So as you guys can see how the quality of the images change for each of the model, right? So we have eight different models and we almost got eight different results for all of those outputs, right? So yeah, this is absolutely crazy. Like now you can go ahead and choose all the models of a uh, stable diffusion that you used to see in only that now in Civit AI, all right? All right, so for our second example, I'm gonna go ahead and test out different models for uh, creating landscape. And for that, I'm gonna go ahead and use this prompt from our landscape, which is a tranquil lake surrounded by mountains during sunrise, photo taken from a high vintage point DSLR and DSLR Canon EOS R5 and all those important details. And for that, we're gonna go ahead and test out different models to see like which one performs the best in landscapes, okay? So for the models, obviously we want the realistic models for our landscapes, not the portrait ones. So for the first example, I'm gonna go ahead and test out this realistic V5 one and generate this. And for the second one, I'm gonna go ahead and test out this real Wiz Excel version 4.0. And for the third model, I'm going to go ahead and select this PixX Reel. And for the last one, I'm going to go ahead and select this, the Truality in Gen 1, right? So now let's just go ahead and generate this and see which models perform the best for our landscape image, all right? All right, wow. So take a look at the four different results of the four different models for our same prompt. And yeah, uh, in these images, I think the best one we got was for of PixX Reel and the uh, the Truality Engine one, right? So yeah, I think all of the results are absolutely fantastic. So yeah, this is how you can go ahead and use different models to create 
different looking uh, images for the same from set. This is absolutely crazy, like how good this AI tool is, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and test out different models by creating anime characters. So for that, it is really important to understand like what will the prompt be for our anime characters, okay? So of course, uh, for the anime characters, you don't want to include like 8K, UHD, ultra realistic because we're not talking about some realistic images or human portraits, right? We're talking about anime characters. So for that, the prompt is gonna be a little bit different. So like that, I have included a cheerful schoolgirl enjoying cherry blossom season drawn in a modern anime style with a focus on the schoolgirl's vibrant expressions because obviously we want to try anime. So it will you have to include anime style, vibrant expression and all those details, okay? So for that, I'm gonna go ahead and test out four different models. So for the first one, I'm gonna go ahead and test out this AAM XL generated. Second one is going to be this Anytune generated. Third one, I'm going to go ahead and test out this Richie Rich Mix generated. And for the last model, I'm going to go ahead and test out this Any Worse one. Okay, so now let's just go ahead and compare all of these models for our prompt. Okay, wow. So take a look at the results. These are absolutely perfect, especially the first and the second one, like AMX, Excel and Anytune. And other than that, uh, the Rich Rich one gives a very beautiful vibe as well. So is the Anywhere's. So yeah, these, this is how you can go ahead and create animes uh, with Civit AI. And if you are just looking for creating animes, Civit AI should be on your top list, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do with one more example for our anime character. And this time, I'm going to go ahead and type in my prompt again, which is going to be a brave samurai training in a traditional Jojo and all those details, and yeah, the models are gonna be the same. First one, Anywhere's. Second one, I'm gonna go ahead and test out AAM XL. Third one is gonna be Anytune. And the last one, I'm gonna go ahead and test out some different, which is Richie Rich. Okay, let's do Richie Rich, okay? Now let's go ahead and generate and compare all of the results. Okay, wow, so take a look at the results. These are absolutely perfect, so yeah. Uh, Civit AI, as usual, performs absolutely perfect for our anime characters, okay? So yeah, uh, now I'm just gonna go ahead and test out some of the cartoon characters in Civit AI, okay? So for that, obviously, we also have to tweak our prompt. We don't want to include like 8K, USD, ultra realistic and all those information because we don't want that, right? We want the cartoon correct, like the exaggerated one, okay? So for the first uh, example, I'm going to go ahead and type a mischievous cat causing chaos in a suburban house drawn in a classic 2D animation style with a focus on the cat's exaggerated expressions and all that. And for the models, I'm going to go ahead and choose specifically the cartoon character models. So for the first one, I'm going to go ahead and go with this real cartoon 3D generated. And for the next one, I'm going to go ahead and select this real cartoon realistic. And for the third one, uh, let's just do this as last one. I'm going to go ahead and select Real Cartoon Excel. okay? Now let's just go ahead and generate and compare our results. And you know what? Are we going to go ahead and test out one last model, which will be the Starlight Excel, okay? Animated one. All right, guys, so here are the results. So we have four uh, different output results for our four different models, right? So yeah, now let's go ahead and see our next example for our cartoon character. This time I'm gonna go ahead and type a heroic superhero saving the day in a bustling city and all those details. And for the models, I'm gonna go ahead and go for some different ones this time. Okay, so the first one, I'm gonna select this 3D animation diffusion generated. And for the second one, I'm gonna go ahead and select this cartoonified. And for the last model, I'm gonna go ahead and select this Starlight Excel animated, okay? So now let's just go ahead and generate this and compare our outputs. All right, wow. So take a look at the results, especially the first one, the 3D animation diffusion one is absolutely perfect. So is the cartoonified. It is giving like more of a 90s vibe for our cartoon characters, but other than that, it looks really good. And also the Starlight Excel, yeah, this one is absolutely fantastic, right? So yeah, there you have it, guys. This was the exploration of the free AI tool suite AI, which basically uses the stable diffusion models for your web version to create astonishing images. So yeah, I really hope you like this video, you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.